Why is the Boeing 737 size a problem for Boeing? Let me explain. The 737 was originally designed in the 1960s as a small short-haul jet, and its low ground clearance was perfect for the airports of that era. But as airlines demanded bigger cabins and more fuel-efficient engines, Boeing kept stretching the 737 and adding larger engines to compete with Airbus. Those bigger engines barely fit under the wing, forcing engineers to flatten the engine nacelles and redesign the landing gear. Changes that added complexity and contributed to issues on newer MAX models. Because the 737's basic design can't easily handle further upgrades, Boeing now faces limits on performance and safety. This constant stretching also makes maintenance more complicated, as newer parts don't always fit perfectly with the original structure. Cabin layouts are tighter, too, leaving passengers with less space compared to newer designs like the Airbus A320neo. Airlines still buy the 737 for its reliability and global support network, but each new variant pushes the airframe closer to its engineering limits.